Question 3 is quite a difficult problem, but I suppose if we go through it, you might understand it quite well. Okay, if mn is equal to 2, let's go and see what is mn. mn is this distance. If that distance is equal to 2, calculate the possible lengths of OP. Where is OP? OP is that distance. So what they've given me is this distance. And I must go and calculate the possible length of that distance. So actually what I'm trying to find out is what is the x-coordinate of m or n. That will give me the x-coordinate of p and therefore the distance that I need there. So first let's go and see how was this calculated. How is the distance between m and n calculated? Well the distance mn is a vertical distance between the two graphs. In other words, we took the y value of m, so we took the y value of m, and we subtracted the y value of n, and that gave us the vertical uh, distance. So how did we get the y value of m? Well, we took f of, oh that's not f, that's g, we took the graph G at that point X and we subtracted the graph F at that same point X. So this will give me the Y value that I read off of G and that will give me the Y value that I read off of F. Now with that in mind the uh, function formula for G let me just go and get it 2x minus 4, so it was 2x minus 2, sorry, 2x minus 2, minus, and since I'm subtracting, x squared my plus 3x minus 4. So let's just simplify, what do we get? Well, we're going to get negative x squared negative 3x plus a positive 2x that gives me negative x and then positive 4 uh, minus 2 gives me positive 2 so this is actually a formula for the length uh, let's call it the length of mn is equal to negative x squared minus x plus 2. So if you give me any x value, I can tell you what is the distance from um, g to f. Now it's important to note that g is higher than f. If it was the other way around, if f was the higher graph, then it would have been f minus g. Okay, now they already gave me the length mn. They told me that the, that the distance mn is equal to 2. So I know that 2 is equal to negative x squared minus x plus 2. And now I just need to solve to find for which value is that length equal to 2. So I get x squared plus x and the 2 the 2's cancel give me a zero. So I find the distance between them will be 2 when x, so let me just factorize x plus 1 is equal to 0. So when x is equal to 0 or when x is equal to negative 1. Now we can see on our graph that means that this distance here will be 2, when x is equal to 0, then the distance between the two graphs will be 2, okay, and the distance here will also be 2. So which one can it be, when x is equal to negative 1, or when it's equal to 0? Well, because p is on the negative side of the x-axis, it is, it will happen when x is equal to negative 1, which means what is the distance of op? That distance will be equal to 1.
which is put in our answers. Looking at the questions, which of the following represents the length of MN? Well, we saw that the graph of G of M is higher than the graph of F. So it would be G minus F. So G minus F, that gives me the distance. Okay. Let the length of MN be LM. Write out an equation for the length MN in terms of X. That is what we calculated here. That is an equation of the length of LM, uh, MN in terms of X. So it's minus X squared negative X plus 2. Next question. Oh, let's preview it. It looks correct. If you substitute the length of MN with 2 and solve the equation, what is the solutions? Well, we found one solution was negative 1, the other solution was 0. Finally, what is the length of OP? Okay, so now we needed to decide is the solution the x answer that we got, is it that point or that point? Well, we figured we are on the negative side, so x must be the negative answer, not 0. And therefore, this distance OP is equal to 1 because P is negative 1. So the distance of OP is 1. 